But the FA, don't they have an executive committee? They do. Can they prevail upon the president? They are all seeking their, uh, special, their interest. But if the president is seeking his they, interest with the coach, can they also find their interest in there? Of course. Is it not crowded already? The president will satisfy them so that they will not be able to check the president. Put How does he satisfy them? Of course. Oh, you can put in your players also the 1-1 one -one slot or maybe the other national teams. Oh, you can also push in your players there. They are. Oh, they is are, that what happens? Of course. They own players. Mm. They are managing teams. Yeah. You understand? So, you put, so put I, I put my player in Black Stars. You put your player in Star, Starless. So, you so, have your player. So you can't check me or you can't, you know, fire me. That's what is going on out there. Uh, so, so, because because of that, what is so because of that, all the executive members hmm. think that Baba Rahman is a better footballer than Gideon Mensah. When one million supporters <laughs> who watch the game say that Gideon Mensah is better than Baba Rahman, will the FA executive committee in the boardroom, just them, think that because of that, Baba Rahman is better than Mensah? Is that what you're saying? They call themselves so-called football people. Yes. They, 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 they feel the association belongs to them. So they are football. Well, people. they get elected. So but I understand they get, you. They get elected. People so vote for them. That so that if 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 it's a worry to them, they would have at least said something about it. They would have spoken about it at least. Oh, please, what is going on? We can't, you know. I mean, take it even about the coach. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have accepted Otuado to be the coach. Train us how to take us to the World Cup. It tells you that whatever the FA president is doing out there, they are in support of it because they are benefiting from it. They are also benefiting. That is why. Mm -hmm. A lot of money that they spent in Qatar, it has to be investigated. We have to really get a, a, a accountability out of it. That's mm -hmm. why I've, I've been asking and calling on uh, the Auditor General, the Yoko. Hey, what do you the, want Auditor General to do? Oh, the, we want to know how much we spend in, uh, at the World Cup. Mm. Minister should tell us the budget, how much we spend at the World Cup. Yes. Well, I think he should tell Parliament. He should. Uh, he really it, should. It, it, um, we should be able to, he should be able to, I mean, uh, account for mm. whatever that he spent. Because we played three games. Well, of course. And we came back. Yes. So was the budget for three games? Was it for quarter final? Was mm. it for, if there's some left, uh, is the money gone back to the Accountant General or the Bank of Ghana? Or is it with the FA for investment into AFCON or, you know, all of that? I see. So your conclusion is that we were let down by our coach. That's your conclusion. Yes, and Ked Ukreku, FA president. You mm. can't only put the blame on the coach because he was appointed by somebody. And so we were let down by Ket and the FA president. No. Okay. Hey. We were let down by Ket and the head coach. And yes. But the ministry appointed the coach, didn't they? They pay the coach, don't they? Oh, please. <laughs> but you are here talking about Chris. We yes. heard that the ministry wanted Chris. The ministry have already to... even published that no. Chris was, is going to be the next coach. <laughs> FA has said that they are still looking. <laughs> because he was looking for his interest. Where is the coach now? Which coach? They are blasted as coach. But why he's gone? He's resigned. Uh, why? Because he says he failed at the World Cup or something. And he says his family wants to be in Germany, something funny <laughs> like that. Is. Did you hear that, by the way? I, I heard it, you know, of the cuff. Did he say that? Of course. That his family wants to be in Germany. Of course. But he really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. He shouldn't have said that. He should just thank Ghanaians for... It, listen, listen, let me tell you something here. You see, from the one, eh, mm -hmm. the coach never committed himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm telling you. From all the things he said. Oh, to the course of Ghana and had nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You got it. You see, his own old transit uh, supported my point. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it to you. Yes, that he didn't, never really was committed. Of course, he said he and his family, as you are saying, they felt more German than, you know. Yeah, that, that, I don't know why he said that. Uh, yes, and so why should the FA appoint such a person? When he and his family... The patriotic streak is not there. You understand? Why should the FA appoint such a person? So Kurt saw some chance there so that he can be able to manipulate this one. That is why he pushed for that coach. That is all. When somebody sees himself in Germany, not in Ghana, immediately after Uruguay match, I resigned. Yes, he was going all right. But how can you appoint a part-time coach? Knowing very well that after the World Cup, he has nothing to lose. He's going. Hey, such an FA president you are. We are still keeping him here in Ghana. You need to, 
you need to get him out. But okay. we only have to wait for the next election. You need to get this guy to Kleku out. He has failed Ghanaians. He has disgraced you. Yes, he has, he has disgraced Ekufuado. Of course, the Why? president <laughs> of the Republic of Ghana. Yeah. He traveled to Cameroon for the opening game. He was last at the Afcon, yeah, Afcon, and then he was. He at the traveled game again for Portugal. the opening game in Portugal. He was disgraced. and he saw the referee cheating us. He, he was disgraced by Otuado and Keto. The referee was cheating he, us. You see, you are helping them to continue to misbehave. No, I don't want them to continue to misbehave. You are helping them, but so you are not. He, you are not he, identifying he, the he, fact that the referee was a problem as well. It, there was no problem. You got it. When mm -hmm. you won against South Korea, the referee was not a problem. No, he was good for us. The day, there was a handball that he used his discretion to give to us. Thank he you. was good. He was very Fine. good. So no problem. Mm. I'm still coming to the fact that Keto Preku has disgraced the MPP government, the president, Kufuadu. Why? Mm. Why do you people sit there for Keto Preku to do that to him? I don't, I'm not is sure what the MPP president man? feels that I'm asking, he has been is he MPP man? I don't know. But so what would, would you do that to a Kufuado? No, I don't know whether you would you do that feels, to a Kufuado. I don't president. know whether Kufuado feels that Keto Kriku has no. disgraced him. I don't ah, know whether he feels that. Ah, but you, eight years of his tenure, mm -hmm. or let me say his term mm -hmm. as Ghana president. Yes, I pray that God gives him that eight years. He finished it. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This president has been able to. He he's he's been to World Cup. Qualified for one World he's Cup. He's qualified. He for, missed the other World Cup. Russia. Yes, but he's qualified for Qatar World Cup. Mm -hmm. He has qualified for Afcon. First, it was Afcon. Mm -hmm. You go out there with all the hopes. Your sports minister, before we we're going to Afcon, what did he say? He said we we're going to win the cup. Mm -hmm. So the president was in high spirit. He had to travel to. Uh, Cameroon for the mm -hmm. opening match. Mm -hmm. We were beaten. We were disgraced. Then also the president traveled for the World Cup. After assuring the president that Ghana will qualify and win the World Cup. That was the assurance he gave to the president. That mm -hmm. Ghana will qualify from the group stage and win the World Cup. So the president traveled to Qatar with a lot of confidence. You saw Kufuadu in pictures, video. In Qatar, didn't you see? Mm -hmm. You saw your man, fantastic, so happy. Then three two. Mm -hmm. Then came one one match. Three then two. it was like oh, we are there. Hell break loose. We, we are, are there. there. Mohammed Kudus. You understand? Mm -hmm. we, we, we instead of staying focused and keeping the team on his toes, very professional to let the coach know that we are not. Yeah, but they said yet. Abiba went there. Please. He, he, he ignore that nonsense. Mm -hmm. Then they, they, they left off guard, then we lost against Uruguay. And crashed out painfully. Crash out, disgracing the Kufuadu's government. Because of the lot of assurance, a lot of assurances they gave to the uh, president. Even the president himself helping to get, I mean, sponsorship, money. Yeah, yeah, he did. To he help. Did. Personally, he contacted So MTN, that yeah. Ghana supporters, Ghanaians can be in contact MTN to support pledged that. two million, yeah. Dollars. So with this, you don't feel sorry and sad for the president. I feel sorry for the president. I do. For all what the president has done for you. Today, mm. you are helping Kurt to disgrace this president. <laughs> My man. I like the way you put it. Helping Kurt to disgrace the president. Of course, because well. he disgraced him when we went to Afcon. He, did, he has disgraced okay. him again in Qatar. Get your text messages ready, ladies, and then I'm coming to you.